For Dakota Troop, maintenance excellence is more than just the internal framework of standards and processes that help guide a successful maintenance organization. It's about developing leaders of character. It's about encouraging innovation to help solve complex problems. And it's about executing our sustainment, our war fighting tasks with a violence of action that help us win in the toughest of conditions. I believe that maintenance is really, uh, as an activity, it's a system of systems. And so we, our maintainers are one key part of that system, but here in the squadron, it's every single one of us has a maintenance responsibility. And the way that the Dakota troopers run the primary maintenance activities is, is, an, is the core of our maintenance program. But every other element within the organization, all of the reconnaissance troops, our headquarters element, everybody in this, in this squadron has a maintenance responsibility. And truly, the, our maintainers represent the leaders in that maintenance community. And, and by that, I mean um, everyone from the, 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 the clerks to the, to the specialty mechanics to the wheel vehicle mechanics, they are the leadership core of the maintenance system in the squadron. And so having a really, really committed um, and cohesive team at the core of that maintenance function is really what that means because they set the example for the maintenance activities that every soldier, no matter what their MOS, um, has to do for us to be successful. From the NCO standpoint, uh, things that go into making a quality maintenance program is first of all, personnel readiness, um, ensuring our soldiers are taken care of, um, all their issues are, are good to go, that way that they can perform here at work. Um, number two would be training our personnel, ensuring that they know how to do their jobs and do their jobs safely. And the last thing as an NCO, staying proficient at our jobs and being willing and ready to go outside and turn wrenches when it's required. So corrosion poses uh, several challenges here in the 25th in Hawaii. So some of the things we do when a vehicle comes in for service, we inspect the entire vehicle, uh, at which stage of corrosion that it meets, and then per the applicable technical bulletins, we take the appropriate action of what it needs to take, whether it's replacing components or you know spot repair, sanding, uh, treating, and ultimately painting vehicles back to, to factory specs. Yeah, you're getting parts, you've got delayed shipping times, your tools, your equipment, everything rusts, which is why corrosion is such an important part of what we do. The, uh, in Hawaii, you're, the area of operations, everything where we operate is restricted in, when it comes to space. Um, so we've set up our maintenance tent in the motor pool and we always have to get innovative when it comes to how we can best support the squadron and make sure that we maintain combat readiness and we maintain an OR rate above 90 percent. The overall scope of maintenance doesn't just involve what we see in the motor pool. We've developed maintenance focus areas that help us focus on the things that are often left untouched, like our Seaburn equipment, maintenance, uh, maintenance of our weapons and our sights, MVGs, um, and all the other equipment that isn't always sitting in the motor pool, that doesn't always get seen or touched on motor pool Mondays. Every trooper in the Dakota Ford Support Troop is a cavalryman. We understand our mission is to support all war fighting exercises with real world sustainment. Furthermore, we understand the area of operations where we support is along the forward line of troops, often in front of the infantry battalions. Our maintainers understand this, which is why we place a heavy emphasis on our war fighting and cavalry fundamentals. We train on reconnaissance and call for fire techniques with our sister troops. We certify all of our, our maintenance crews through gunnery and through a tough and realistic convoy live fire exercise. So, you know, really absolutely can't say enough how, how proud I am of the team of, you know, not only what we do daily, day in and day out, but, you know, really going after the, the Amy competition and how far we've gotten 
And then really the, the standard we set, you know, for the 25th Infantry Division and, you know, ultimately 3rd Brigade. There's hard effort each day uh, to ensure in 3-4 CAV and Dakota Troop can perform, you know, their mission daily. And it's a true testament of, you know, the hard work and uh, dedication that these soldiers, you know, have every single day for the mission.